And we're with Dr. Levin down in Los Gatos, California. Dr. Levin is an orthopedic surgeon who's been using the <clears throat> Glide Track equipment for some time. Good morning, Dr. Levin. Good morning. How are you doing today? Wonderful. It's good to be down here with you for the express purposes of getting some feedback from you on the applications of the Glide Track and Glide Cycle equipment to your uh, client personnel. How has it been using it down here? Well, we've used it in several different uh, modalities. Uh, what I like especially is the Glide Track because uh, that can uh, get people who are rehabilitating up walking, using their muscles, increasing the range of motion of their hips and knees much faster than they would when they're in the uh, parallel bars or in a, in a walker. People who've had uh, fractured hips, uh, total hips, knee replacements, uh, fractures of the tibiae or femur that, that can't uh, put full weight bearing are able to get up vertical, move the joints, and extend the joints completely and also completely exercise the muscles. Um, usually uh, uh, we have difficulty getting all this motion in people who have uh, uh, these injuries or these uh, uh, surgical procedures and it takes a long time. And on the glide cycle, for those people who have graduated and able to uh, work out in a glide cycle, uh, you increase the, the range of motion of your joints, especially the hip extensions, knee extension that you don't get when you run and you don't get when you bicycle. And it also increases the muscles uh, that, were, that are uh, involved uh, fully, uh, the uh, quadriceps, the hamstrings, the anterior tibialis really gets a workout that you usually don't get a workout with these uh, other modalities. So for increasing the muscle strength uh, a little differently than mm -hmm. uh, these other mo modalities like bicycles or, or, the, uh, or running or the elliptical, uh, it, it's a great advantage and a great cross trainer for these uh, athletes. Well, you say that from personal experiences. You're a glide cyclist yourself now with some many miles under your belt. Well, uh, I'd run for 40 years, and uh, there came a time that I couldn't run anymore, and I think it was the jarring. And uh, I'd stopped running for a couple years until I found the glide cycle. And uh, the most I could do um, it was, it was a mile before I had to quit, and now with the glide cycle I can do five miles without too much trouble. And for, there are a lot of people that I've come across that, have, that are burnt out runners for one reason or another. Their knees are bad or their hips are bad, or they just can't take the jarring. Mm -hmm. And if they get on the glide cycle, they'll find that they can uh, go back to the sport that they love, get the exercise that they need, and really move those joints uh, the way they should be moving. Excellent. Let's talk about some specific uh, environmental applications. For example, uh, we have the glide track in a couple of physical therapy centers that you work with. How do you find the glide track fits into their client population? Well, it's been used extensively, and uh, it, it fits in very, very well. As I said before, <coughs> there, are, there are people that have trouble putting full weight on on their joints, either for pain or uh, with the restrictions from the physicians. And here we can get the people up, exercise the muscles, increase the range of motion of the joints without uh, harming uh, the... Uh, the bones or the joints, and keeping the pain factor down considerably. And then what kind of people are we talking about here? Young people from school, sports programs, or regular folks from the community that have just had surgeries, or, or, or the whole range, or how do you it, feel? It's the whole range. We can take people who um, have had fractured hips elderly in their 70s, 80s, 90s, and get them up on, on the glide track and get them moving. And, of course, the younger the younger. Uh, uh, individuals, teenagers, uh, who've had significant injuries, uh, a lot of sports injuries. Um, uh, when you have uh, ligament reconstructions, you don't want to put too much stress on those ligaments, but you want to get the muscles and the uh, joints moving, and uh, this is an excellent way of doing it. So there's a whole range of uh, application for this uh, technique. Well, Dr. Levin, we know that what the glide track can do in terms of lifting people's body weight by their pelvis, and it's available on the videos on the website, but there's other products that do this, possibly the Alter G system for uh, $25,000 or $70,000, or the Lightgate system, which uses the harness system, all of which are available to be seen on the Internet, and they're good products with their 
um, applications, how does the glide track stack up to those um, uh, as well as the normal parallel bars or uh, walkers that are used to accomplish what we're accomplishing now? Well, the other devices are extremely expensive compared to the glide track. They're uh, between um, uh, 15 times more, <laughs> some of them. And the other factor is uh, that they're uh, relatively clumsy to use. Uh, one of the, the uh, uh, contraptions uses uh, uh, air pressure, but you can't get into the legs, you can't see what's going on, and you, you can't get around to the individual as well. Uh, to see exactly how uh, the, uh, the joints are moving. Uh, the seat that uh, the glide track has uh, puts the pressure where it's supposed to be in on the ischium as you would sit, but it allows significant motion of the hips and, and uh, knees, and uh, some of the other uh, applications don't. Some use harnesses that compress the abdomen too much and are quite un uncomfortable. And the glide track has a system of safety. Uh, if you put a shoulder or a strap around uh, the individuals, especially for the elderly, uh, you can uh, prevent falls as they're exercising. Mm -hmm. So all in all, I think the glide track has uh, many more applications, uh, easier to use, much uh, less expensive, and uh, the uh, therapist is able to get uh, to the lower extremity uh, for whatever reason they would have to get to the lower extremity to help uh, and straighten out the, the leg or for whatever they have to uh, evaluate. Well that's very very exciting and a lot of therapy centers currently use parallel bars and um, walkers to adjust their patients to unweighted movement to you know gain the movement and practice the movement again. Um, those those have been tried and true methods. The glide track is, is potentially um, more applicable to those candidates. Is that correct? I believe so because the, these people when they're on a walker or on the parallel bars they're having to hold themselves up with their arms and a lot of people don't have uh, their arm strength to do this. Especially the uh, uh, the obese that we didn't talk about before uh, that uh, they can't exercise and they have trouble just getting their own body weight up on crutches or a walker uh, so they can't function. They're always in a wheelchair and f for those people um, uh, the glide track is excellent because uh, it gets them up, it takes their body weight off their lower extremities. You're not worried about them inadvertently putting too much weight on an extremity that you have when you, the people are in parallel bars. And the fatigue factor is, uh, uh, comes into play uh, with the parallel bars and with the, and with the walker, but if you're tired and in the glide track you just stop. Yeah. <laughs> you, you aren't doing any weight bearing. Oh, that's excellent. That really is. And then I was going to ask you about the uh, non-weight bearing practice that people do in swimming pools for the same kind of therapy on your surgeries or post-surgery. How does that stack up? Well, the swimming pools are an excellent way of uh, uh, taking weight off and uh, getting motion. Um, but then again, it, it, it's cumbersome. You have to get into the swimming pool again. Uh, it feels good. The water is warm usually. Um, I think that's an excellent method, but I don't think that you really get the full range of motion that you can get in the glide track. In the glide track, the, the therapist is right there to encourage uh, the uh, patient for full range of motion and for more strengthening exercises. Great. Did you find the glide track obtrusive to the therapy environment? I mean, does it take up a lot of space? Is it in the way? or? No, the, the glide track fits uh, quite easily over the uh, treadmill and uh, it fits right in with all the other equipment that's in most physical therapy uh, units. Well, fantastic. Dr. Levin, thank you for spending a little bit of time with us here. And I ask you just maybe one final question, and that would be sort of a summary. Is there anything that you would like to say to direct a thought to any therapy or orthopedic physicians or anyone uh, regarding, say, neural rehab or, or any other subject? I, I just believe that this is an excellent uh, uh, method of uh, increasing motion, increasing strength, and it helps people psychologically because they're up and vertical and actually moving. So uh, with, there are a million uh, uh, different applications and I uh, feel that uh, it really has a, an excellent place in our rehabilitative uh, uh, therapy. Well thank you so much for chatting with us today and I know you're really busy so we'll let you get back to work. 
Thank you. All right. Bye-bye.